Yeah, one of the challenges with this piece is the fact that it is so large and it kind of, even though all the, the processes that I employ on this, I employ on the smaller pieces. You know, once you move into a certain scale, everything compounds and so just getting it, uh, just building it in the first place, the logistics of building it and um, um, the uh, the logistics of getting it out of my studio and even onto a truck and you know and we experience that today uh, coming in try just installing it in this gallery even though the ceilings are 15 feet and we have forklifts and all of that it's a quite a quite an elaborate and precarious process first first it gets split okay and then what we'll end up with is is basically that platform holding up this part of the sculpture and then that platform holding up that part, but they'll be separated now, the frame is gone. So that will pivot over there, and then what we do is we just pivot the sculpture, that stays in place, and that side pivots. Okay, this one take out, we'll put in a longer one. Okay, that one's in. Yeah, we're in on this one, let me just uh, In this case, because um, because the piece is also has to be elevated uh, onto the uh, the pedestal, it has to support its own weight, and then it also has to kind of deal with all the additional stresses of being transported and being lifted, and having uh, the extra weight of the pedestal attached to its feet while it's being lifted. And so the the engineering of the the structure of it internally was a, a big consideration while I was um, uh, casting it. So it's got a, a, both a, a resin interior sort of shell plus a steel frame plus a wood armature that's connected connects the steel to the to the resin. So it's quite a it's like the um, Statue of Liberty in there. The, it's twice as large, but it's you know more than twice as difficult to install kind of a 